Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Bring It To Life With Gail. Um, what I'm bringing you right now is just a couple of ideas that I'm going to put in my craft fair which is coming up this Saturday so that's why I have not posted a video. I've been busy, busy, busy. Um, this idea, um, it's not exactly like hers. She had two candles in her package and she makes her own box and her name is, um, I actually have it on the computer right now. Amy A M E Rodway and her video is called Tea Like Christmas uh, Gift Tutorial. It was published back in October 18, 2016. So um, she kind of does the same candles with the little paper on top, but it, the box idea came from her. So Amy Rodway. She doesn't have a channel name. That's what it is. So um, so it can it kind of came from her. Um, I made my little boxes, and she makes boxes too, so you can look at her tutorial. But um, they're um, I just score them and make me these cute little boxes. If you want to see a tutorial on this, let me know. I could do that, but um, it'll be a couple of weeks because I um, have a uh, finishing all these things this week, and then my my craft show and on Sunday is gonna be my rest day because I've been at this for a couple of weeks now. Anyways, this is a fall one. It has um, a yellow, green, orange, and red in it, and I punched out some of the leaves with my leaf puncher. Just tied it up with raffia, put a little bit of the shredded paper in it, and there's the um, fall one. Another fall one is just like this. It says thankful tag on it with the uh, welcome fall uh, ribbon. You can find this ribbon at Walmart. I really like it. And this one has uh, two yellows and two orange candles in them. So I think these came out really, really cute. And I made tons of them. Like these are all my fall ones, and this is a Christmas and fall one. So this is the Christmas one. And I used the red and green candles. Again, I put some shredded paper at the bottom, and I just added a little Christmas tag to it and a little jingle bell. And I just used some of my uh, rope that I had bought. I'm really using up my stuff, you guys. So, so this is uh, the first thing that I'm bringing to my craft fair that I have not done a tutorial on so this next project I did a video on before they're just like these little pockets that you can add a tree to it I added a Reese's buttercup to it and I did a little stamp that says trick or treat um, for this October craft fair I am not going to do my Christmas ones because you can do them in the red or you can do it with the Christmas paper or pro I would probably just do red or green and then add an embellishment like this. And it's just, um, and these here are different. I added a little pack of M&Ms. So, you know, right after Halloween, like some of this is on sale. So you should go buy those big bags of chocolate and so you can make the ones for Christmas if you're doing a Christmas craft fair. So um, this is the other one. Um, I do have a video on this. I will link everything below. So you can see when I made these. Uh, what I will tell you is that my papers measure three inches across. They're eight inches uh, long. And then I just um, score in the middle. And I just leave about uh, half an inch right here. And so um, just watch that video and you'll get all the details. But I think that these are cute and I will sell these for 50 cents a piece. They're just one piece of paper. It doesn't take long to do. Um, I was even thinking, um, I was going to say a dollar each or two for a dollar, but then I thought, well, then I might just well go at 50 cents a piece. They're just cute to grab. Uh, I didn't do a two from, but I just did a little trick or treat bag. Again, if this doesn't sell, um, it's a good little treat to pass along to um, my trick or treaters. You know, it's, it's um, not expensive and something that's fun to do. So. Next idea. This is the other item that I'm not doing a tutorial on because it's pretty simple. They're um, little boxes that I found at Hobby Lobby uh, last year on clearance and I happened to find them when I was going through my stuff and I got the little cellophane bags from the Dollar Tree and I've just bought some chocolate added some uh, paper at the bottom like I put on the sides added some of the paper at the bottom and just added like 
five, six, seven, like ten pieces of chocolate per container. And then I just added a little bow. And then, let me see. And right here, I just uh, stamped out a medallion. And it's blank in the back. I didn't put anything because I just wanted to add like color like this. And I used some of the felt leaf that I got at Dollar Tree as well. Um, I added a little, little bow. Very simple. I'm going to sell these $3 each or two for five. Um, it, they're... I only made about 10 of them. Um, just want to see how they're going to go and see how things are going to, um, if they sell. If not, then they'll make cute little gifts. Um, you know, maybe even at the, uh, the Thanksgiving table as a gift for everybody. You can put this on their plate. I mean, you can make these for your co-workers. So they're not going to go to waste. If I don't sell them, it's no big thing because I already have gifts made up. So yay me at the same time. Just be careful when you are selling chocolates um, that if it's on a warm day, they might be melting. So you might want to keep a cooler nearby. Maybe just put one out and then get grab the other ones from your cooler or something like that but they i think they came out cute they're very colorful so i think that's what people will attract them is the colorful um items that i will be having so little um treat um boxes i think they're really cute so watch out for these um you know if you're not going to do them this year watch for them next year when they go on clearance because the less you pay for things the more money you make for yourselves so so i'm going to sell them three dollars a piece or two for five